Folks, today on the Stony Ridge Farm, on Tool Tuesday, we're gonna be testing out this floor sweeper, and oh my God, look at that. <laughs> I ain't afraid of work, I ain't afraid of play, I ain't afraid to get the job done and do it my own damn way, I ain't afraid of life, times like this, if you mess with my freedom I'll tell you just what you can kiss, that's right. Setting the push broom aside. Now this push broom's great. It's okay, it's caveman stuff. <laughs> uh, the push broom costs about 35 bucks. This is about 150 bucks. So uh, it was a hard pill for me to swallow, but look at the square footage on the floor in here and look at the garbage on the floor. There is mud that comes off of tires, grass that comes off of grass uh, cutting machines, uh, lawnmowers and, and uh, weed whackers chainsaw dust, uh, all kinds of stuff. So without further ado, we'll pull this guy out of the box. I'm not an unboxing guy. I don't care what an unboxing looks like. I just want you to know, if you decide to get one of these, what it's all about. There'll be a link in the video description for you guys. I bought this on Amazon. We are working on the hood of the red Yoda. Don't you worry, this thing's getting a paint job soon. So it's a work truck, that's what it's for. It's driven by the wheels, okay? So the wheels underneath here spin uh, a push broom right up underneath there. And there's also a little flap in the back. This is your handle, evidently. I'm not reading the instructions, guys. I'm just putting it together as if I would do without you here. There's a push broom. This is a broom portion that is supposed to spin. And I watched a lot of YouTube reviews on this thing. I couldn't make any sense of it. All of them seem to be by the manufacturer and I don't, I don't really trust those reviews. So I wanna do my own review. This thing spins and brings material into the center of this machine. And what's the uh, width here? 26.8 inches, cool. Container capacity is 20 liters, which is about five gallons, all right? Cool. Assembly process should be pretty simple. Looks like we've got rubber seals around here to keep dust down. That was the main thing. I didn't want to breathe in all this dust and I wanted to be able to clean this floor without using dust pans and stirring up a big mess. So we'll flip this guy over, evidently. Let's flip that handle back down. Uh, it looks like it'll be easy to store. You can just hang it up on the wall when you get done. Flip this guy over. Let's get you a better view. This has a brush that goes right here. I guess we take that off. We slip that brush on. These must be replaceable. And then we lock that brush into place. Okay, that's pretty easy. I, it needs to be easy enough for your grandma to put it together in order for me to be happy with the assembly process. Uh, inside here, we've got a few uh, parts and pieces. That must be for our handle right there. And that's number two. And this, I don't know, that's storage stuff. And this is another handle All right. All right there. Cool. Here's our other little sweeper. Simply remove this. This is super simple, guys. Great grandma could put this thing together, no problem. Then you've got a handle that goes on to our bucket. And this is the pail that catches all the debris. And it looks like the handle has two notches. I mean, this couldn't be any simpler, could it? Uh, slip our two notches in. All my buddies are gonna have one of these after this, I know it. If this thing is proves to not be a, a gimmick, I'll have all my buddies with one of these. Everybody's got a shop or a garage or a sidewalk, which pretty much includes everybody. Is this something that everybody needs? <laughs> this simply drops right into place there, right on. We're gonna put a camera up inside this thing too, man. We're not gonna mess around today. We're gonna do a real fun tool Tuesday. Loosen the handle, raise it up, snug it. It's indexed, so it has a little catch right there. And then we'll slide this push handle on it. So it's almost like a push mower. Oh, it's coming off. <laughs> okay, I'm a tall guy, so I'm gonna put it in the second little spot there. Now, I will say it's, it's plasticky, but uh, you know, this isn't something that's gotta take a real beating. I would buy American if there is American, but there is not no American made product like this. If there is, if you're a company that, that makes a sweeper for your garage and you wanna send one out, send it out here. 
We want to we want to do American. Even if you're a foreign company that make these, uh, and you think yours is better, send it out here. We'll test it. We'll prove to you. All right, it's trying to come off the hood. Let's get it down on the ground. Lightweight, very lightweight. Super, super lightweight. I'm gonna say it weighs somewhere in the neighborhood of, I don't know, 12 pounds, something like that, maybe. So here's how it operates. All you do is push. You simply push and walk along with it. The wheels are the driving mechanism, okay? So these wheels drive. This wheel evidently drives this side because if you just turn one side and turn that wheel, just one of these turn. And this wheel must drive the other side. If you push it straight forward, that's what you get, okay? So those turn ever so slightly and bring debris in, inward. Now, let's look in here. Here's how you remove the bucket. And we've already got a bunch of stuff off the floor. Uh, right in there, this critter right here kicks it up into the waste pail. So it's super, super simple, just like a push mower, except for it's made to pick up debris. Now this is made to work inside and outside. So like in your driveway, in your garage, anywhere where you've got a fairly smooth or even a rough surface, you just push this thing over and it sucks everything up. Awesome, let's try it. All right guys, so I've installed spy cams inside this thing. So there's a camera off the front and a camera up inside of it. We've got a few piles that are just a disaster, but the first thing I'm gonna do is kind of zip back and forth across these little squares. So each one of these squares is 10 feet, okay? So I'm gonna do this entire section right here real quick and just see how long it takes. It should be pretty fun. Just like mowing your yard, you're just gonna push and go back and forth. All right, just went over a screw. It didn't kick it up in there, which is quite disappointing. Uh, I'm up next to the wall here, and it really kicks all the trash right out from the wall. All the videos online show this thing really kicking butt. I can hear stuff going up in there, and there's a big old pile of dust I'm getting ready to go over in just a second. There's that screw again. We're gonna kick that screw out there and try to run over it. I can see the difference as I walk down through here, I can see what's been swept and what hasn't. This is basically just a power floor sweeper. So far, our super duper time saver. Not kicking up a lot of dust. There's some, oh yeah. That kicked up a little. Got the screw, went right over the screw, didn't pick it up. It's a bit disappointing on picking up a screw. Right, that would have taken me at least 15 minutes just to sweep up and then I'd had to get a dustpan and clean it out too. So let's get the results. What's inside here? I can, whoa, <laughs> dude, look, that's insane. Look in there. That's what it picked up. I didn't even see that much on the ground. It just totally dusted the GoPro too. There's a GoPro up in here, you see it? Totally dusted it. Awesome, awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna run over a big pile of just debris real quick. We just set this down right there and let it rip. This is gonna tell the tale. I've got the GoPro inside, rocking and rolling, and here we go. This is, let me just get you a close up of what this is. This is a pile of nastiness. Here we go. What, what, did you see that? I had no idea there's a washer in there. It won't pick up heavy stuff. Like that washer wouldn't pick that up and it won't pick up a screw either. Um, here's one of the screws that it wouldn't pick up. However, you probably don't want it to pick that stuff up. Look at that, it's gone. So far A plus, we're gonna go over a lot more stuff real quick and I've got a big pile of debris. I'm gonna back this four wheeler out and we're gonna do the whole shop real quick and I'll give you guys my total feedback. This would take me an hour or so to sweep out entirely and I'm not gonna empty it until the end. Four wheeler. Kubota. Very nice ergonomic grip right there. Goes over dips just fine. Here's where I see it really shining, guys, and I think you're gonna like this. When you get up next to the edge of the wall, it's always a difficult spot. Uh, we've got a bolt here and a big old weird looking bug. Hey, buddy. 
Dude, that thing's making noise. <laughs> oh man, we don't want to suck that up. Uh, we'll go ahead and get these bolts out of the way. This is just construction debris. Um, here we go. So it really shines up against a wall. You see that? That brush gets all the way up next to the wall and renders it totally clean behind. That's something that's really hard to do with a broom. Check it out. Look at that. Now it's not perfect. Uh, I would say it's just not totally perfect. You've got to, you got to figure this thing out. But uh, look at all this debris and there's bird poop. Gosh, so much bird poop in here. So let's get up against that wall again real quick. Okay, so you see it just brushes right up against that wall. It actually goes up underneath. Look at that. That's pretty awesome. You can see it kind of missed a little bit at the corner right here, but we could take a shop vac and get that. I'm gonna do the whole shop. Dude, I am in love. Holy cow, what a time saver. I'm gonna empty this guy out and you guys are gonna see what we just picked up off the shop floor in literally four minutes. I just swept 5,000 plus square feet. That's amazing, absolutely amazing. We're gonna take this thing out and show you guys. There's a GoPro in there and that thing is gonna be nasty. It's only appropriate that we <laughs> in this video on the hood of Red Yoda, just like we started it. So I haven't looked in this thing and I don't know what it's gonna be like, but I do know that it's probably four pounds heavier than it was when I started. Oh, there's, there's junk in here, wow. Uh, I will say that it had a little trouble. Wow, look at this, look at that. Holy crap, oh man. This GoPro, wait till you see this GoPro. <laughs> Look at that. Ugh. Look how dirty the GoPro got. Holy cow. <laughs> hey, everybody. <laughs> All right, here's what we got, man. Look at that. Let's dump it over in the trash can. All right, now we got a little dust cloud, so I'd recommend if you had to empty it, take it outside to empty it. Uh, man, that, that was an insane amount of stuff we picked up. You can see it in the bottom of the trash can right here. It is dusty, but it picked up leaves, debris, rocks, gravel, straw. When you empty it, <coughs> empty it outside. <laughs> and here's what got hung up. There's a few things that like to get hung up in here. I don't know what you'd call those little things, flutes or something like that, but uh, leaves tried to get hung up. We had a big storm the other day and leaves tried to get hung up in that thing from our storm. But you can see exactly how it works right here. Uh, this draws debris in that way, that draws debris in that way, and then this kicks it up into the hopper. Just that simple, guys. Driven by the wheels, and it really works great. Let's go ahead and slip it back together. Really, really wanna get your floor clean. I'd say do two rounds. In other words, I just did one round, and it cleaned all this mess up. Do two rounds and you'll really, really get it clean. So that is what I'm replacing my push broom with. That thing is awesome, man. Holy cow, what a time saver. Picks up more, less dust. There is no downside to it other than the cost is around 150 bucks. So I'm gonna reach out to these guys and see if they'll give us a coupon code. If they will, I'll post it down in the video description. If not, there'll be a link to it. Again, this is K Archer, this is the least expensive or the cheapest floor sweeper that you can buy on Amazon and it does kick butt. It's 10 times better than that broom and it's 10 times faster. Guys, thanks a lot. I hope you enjoyed the video. More stuff to come here in the mega shop. Be sure you hit that like button on your way out the door. I'd love to have you back here on the Stony Ridge Farm with me. Thank you so much. Welcome to Tool Tuesday. Woo! Well, come on down to the Stony Ridge. Bring your wife and bring your kids. We're living life pure and sweet. That's the way it's supposed to be, Stony Ridge. Woo!
We'll see you when you get dirty. I'm gonna be a pain to get out of the box. <laughs> Later, dude.